Let's unbox the MSI B650M Gaming Plus Wi-Fi motherboard and install it into my new PC. But first, let's take a look at the prices. I wasn't able to find it in the US, so I guess it's a European model only. Here in the UK, it is available for £140 and in the EU, €158. Euros. You'll find the links in the description below, so check them out if you want to buy one as well. Now let's take a look at it. It is a brand new box, so keep in mind that it will not come sealed with any kind of plastic. What do we get here? Some accessories. This is a Wi-Fi antenna. And this is a nice one. I know it because I already have another motherboard that uses the same antenna. Take a look at that. It has a magnet, so you can just attach it to any metal surface, anywhere you want. Very handy. Are there any more accessories? Yes, there is something there below the surface. What is that? One SATA cable. So <laughs> the times are changing. It used to give us two, but it's still good that we're getting at least one because you might want to install a large hard drive. Personally, I use M.2 SSDs. And this is quick installation guide and some regulatory notices. Is there something else in there? Yes. There's two M.2 SSD screws and the quick guide has nice illustrations. Very easy to understand. Now let's open up the motherboard. There's a bit of tape here, keeps the bag sealed. This is the back. It has a matte black PCB. And here's the front. It is quite heavy. Thanks to these massive VRM cooling heat sinks. And uh, you know what? It is a very impressive for a 140 pound motherboard. Just take a look at that. Those heat sinks are absolutely massive. And by the way, power delivery system on this thing is 10 plus 2 plus 1, which is good enough to handle any CPU, even overclocked. Because take a look at that. Power is delivered via two 8-pin power connectors. So that is a lot of power. In terms of USB connections, you get a 10 gigabit USB for the front panel. And on the back panel of the motherboard, we get a bunch of 10 gigabit ports. Three type A 10 gigabit ports and one type C 10 gigabit. And the rest are... 5 gigabit ports, 4 more USB type A, BIOS flash button, HDMI, display port, 2.5 gigabit LAN. By the way, this is Wi Fi 6E, so this is not Wi Fi 7, the latest and greatest, but it is still good enough. And in terms of audio connectivity, we get the usual mic, speakers, and then line in. And what is always good to see is that the I.O. shield comes pre-installed, so you don't have to mess around with it. There's four RAM slots, up to DDR5 7200+, plus, and maximum memory capacity is 256 gigabytes. It's crazy how nowadays even a cheap motherboard like this one can support that much memory. This motherboard has PCIe Gen 4, so the main slot is 16x Gen 4, as well as two M.2 SSDs, also Gen 4. And in terms of SATA ports, 
we get two on this side and two over here. Let's take a peek under those M.2 SSD heat sinks. There we go. It is not the thickest, but it is thick enough. And you get thermal pad. I'm going to use my crucial SSD that already has a heatsink pre-installed. So I will not be needing that MSI heatsink, but it is nice to have. And take a look at that installation mechanism. You don't need any more screws, you just boop and there it is. All installed. Additionally, you get two PCIe 3.0 connectors, but they're not full size, they're just the small ones. And you get several RGB connectors over here and up here, and you get five fan connectors in total. One for CPU here, one for pump, one for system fans, another system fan here, and one more here. I'll be using Ryzen 5 7600X in this system. Let's get this CPU out. These new CPUs don't have pins on the back. Pins are now on the socket. Don't forget to line up your triangles when installing the CPU. Just find the triangle, match it, and drop it in. And then just like that, the CPU is installed. Beautiful. Here is what a finished PC build looks like featuring this motherboard. Quite nice. I have the MSI Gaming X RTX 4060 Ti 16GB version in this build. If you would like to see tests of this graphics card and this PC build, as well as others, then check out my other channel where I do all those tests. The link will be in the description below. Also, I'll have all the PC parts linked in the description below as well. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and let me know in the comments below what do you think about this motherboard. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.